In today's busy world, self-discipline has become a fundamental quality in achieving our goals and living a fulfilling life. Stoic self-discipline is not about rigidity or extreme self-control, but about an inner freedom. By mastering our impulses, thoughts and emotions, we free ourselves from external constraints and gain control of our own life. But how can we cultivate it? Stoic philosophy, with its millennia of wisdom, offers us valuable tools to develop unwavering self-discipline. Imagine waking up every morning with a clear north guiding your steps, an internal compass that propels you forward regardless of the storms around you. Visualize a serene and unwavering mind capable of filtering out the noise and focusing precisely on what is truly valuable. That is the essence of a life guided by unwavering purpose, a purpose that becomes the driving force of your existence, driving you to overcome obstacles and achieve your highest goals. Sounds almost superhuman, doesn't it? Yet this was the everyday reality of one of the most powerful men in ancient history, Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher. The personal notes of Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, known as Meditations, are not just a glimpse into the mind of a historical leader. They are, in fact, a collection of surprisingly relevant reflections on the power of self-discipline and its application in everyday life. Despite being written almost 2,000 years ago, Marcus Aurelius's ideas on self-discipline resonate strongly in the modern world. In a world full of distractions and temptations, his advice on how to focus on what really matters, control emotions, and cultivate mental strength is as valuable today as it was in the past. In the midst of the frenzy of today's life, where distractions and demands constantly bombard us, the need arises to find an anchor, a guide that guides us towards a fuller and more meaningful existence. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, presents itself as an invaluable compass on this journey of self-discovery. Far from being mere abstract concepts, Stoic principles offer us practical tools to cultivate discipline and transform our way of living. Stoicism teaches us how to turn adversity into emotional advantage, turning turmoil into tranquility and the unpredictability of life into a source of strength. It is like a lighthouse that guides us towards calm and strength. This ancient philosophy does not seek to deny the challenges we inevitably face but rather to teach us how to turn them into opportunities for personal growth and transformation. Whether you find yourself struggling with the stresses of everyday life or seeking to find inner peace, Stoicism provides invaluable guidance for managing your emotions and cultivating serenity. By understanding that the real battle is fought within ourselves, you learn not to give in to impulsive reactions or negative emotions that cloud your judgment. Instead, Stoicism invites you to cultivate temperance and self-control, taking control of your thoughts and reactions. By focusing on what you can control, your own actions and decisions. Stoic philosophy grounds us in the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice and moderation. It's about more than just enduring life. It's about thriving in it no matter what comes your way. Are you ready to take the path to Stoic self-discipline? Start today by incorporating these Stoic principles as small positive habits into your daily routine. Join us on this deep dive into the heart of Stoicism. Remember, self-discipline is a journey, not a destination. Enjoy the process and celebrate every step you make. So if you're ready to transform the way you view and handle life's challenges, stay tuned as we explore the powerful teachings of Marcus Aurelius and how they can be applied to cultivate a strong, disciplined life. At the heart of Marcus Aurelius's philosophy is the belief that self-discipline begins with the pursuit of your purpose. But what does it mean? In the profound reflections of the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, we find a perspective on purpose that goes beyond simple goals or achievements. For him, finding your purpose is a journey of self-discovery, a deep search for what really matters to you, what drives you at your core and motivates you to act with passion and conviction. Beyond tangible goals, Marcus Aurelius does not advocate a mere pursuit of external objectives, of achievements that fade over time. Instead, it invites us to explore the deeper motivations that reside within us, to identify that which lights us up from within and gives us a sense of transcendence. An unwavering purpose doesn't mean you're immune to setbacks. 
life by its very nature is full of challenges and obstacles. However, when you have a clear purpose that motivates you, those obstacles become opportunities to grow, to learn, and to demonstrate your strength. At the heart of Stoic philosophy is the concept of living in accordance with nature. This idea does not refer to a primitive or savage existence, but to a life guided by reason and virtue, in line with the natural order of the universe. For the Stoics, nature is not a chaotic or arbitrary force, but a harmonious system governed by universal laws. Human reason, as part of this nature, has the ability to understand these laws and act accordingly. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about living in accord with nature, which in Stoic terms means understanding your role in the larger scheme of things and acting in harmony with its virtues. For Marcus Aurelius' purpose was not just a lofty ideal, but a practical compass that guided his every decision, from the mundane to the monumental. He believed that understanding your purpose is what pushes you to get out of bed in the morning, ready to face the challenges of the day. Living in accordance with nature involves cultivating the cardinal virtues, wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. These virtues are not mere abstract ideas, but qualities that we can develop through exercise and constant practice. It is what keeps you steadfast when temptations call you to stray. And it's not about grandiose achievements or external praise, but about fulfilling the duties that life imposes on you. It is performing each task with commitment and integrity. In a modern context, finding your purpose can often feel overwhelming. We live in a world saturated with options and distractions that can lead us away from our true paths. This is where Stoic wisdom not only comes in handy, but essential Stoicism teaches us to peel back the layers of superficial desires and fleeting emotions to reveal what is truly essential to our well-being and growth. It encourages us to ask ourselves, what is really worth it and energy? How can my actions today contribute to the common good and my personal development? As we explore how to apply this principle in our lives, think about what you are naturally drawn to, where you find deep satisfaction, or what challenges you are motivated to solve. These are clues to recognizing your purpose, and once identified, the stoic practice of daily reflection becomes invaluable, as you continually align your actions with your purpose, by saying no to what does not serve you, you cultivate self-discipline. It is necessary to live a meaningful and impactful life. Let's take this idea from Marcus Aurelius and apply it daily. Ask yourself every morning, what should I do today? And every night, have I lived true to my purpose over time? This practice not only develops self-discipline, but also transforms your life into a more purposeful and fulfilling journey. When Marcus Aurelius wrote about self-discipline, a recurring theme in his reflections, he highlighted the importance of trusting oneself. Relying on oneself is not just about self-reliance, but an integral part of Stoic philosophy that emphasizes the importance of personal responsibility and independence. This is not about isolation or rejection of help from others, but about recognizing that the responsibility for our actions, reactions, and personal growth rests within ourselves. In Stoicism, the idea of focusing on what is within our control is paramount. Marcus Aurelius often speaks of the power of the self to face any challenge that life throws at us by drawing on our inner resilience and strength. This principle teaches us to trust our abilities to navigate through life's uncertainties and adversities. It is about building confidence, not through arrogance, but through competence and a deep understanding of one's own capabilities and virtues. This self-sufficiency is liberating, but also discouraging in today's interconnected world where opinions and advice are constantly at our fingertips. Learning to listen to our inner voice can be challenging. However, Stoicism teaches us to filter out the noise and trust the judgment of our reason. Marcus Aurelius believed that this inner guidance was the most reliable advice one could have because it is rooted in reason and virtue. By counting on ourselves, we also develop autonomy in our decision-making processes that are aligned with our values and principles instead of being carried away by external pressures or temporary emotions. This autonomy is crucial to maintaining personal integrity and living a life true to oneself. 
So how can we start to really count on ourselves? It starts with small steps, making and keeping commitments, setting personal goals and working to achieve them independently and taking time to reflect on our decisions and their alignments. With our core values over time, these practices strengthen our self-discipline, making us more resilient and grounded in the face of life's challenges. Marcus Aurelius constantly emphasized the power of perseverance to be present every day, not only in body, but also in spirit. This practice is not about monumental efforts unleashed sporadically, but about the silent and constant dedication to daily tasks that together forge a disciplined life. For Marcus Aurelius, showing up every day was synonymous with the stoic idea of living in accordance with nature. For him, nature required us not only to exist, but to actively participate in life, to contribute to the world through our actions, no matter how small or routine they seemed. Every day is presented as a new scenario, not for great battles, but to demonstrate commitment to our principles and duties. The consistency of daily effort is where character is built and tested. In today's world, where distractions are many and motivations can be fleeting, the idea of showing up every day gains even more meaning. It's easy to feel inspired one day and completely sidetrack the next. Here, Stoicism teaches us the value of coherence. It is not the intensity, but the regularity of our actions that cultivates true discipline. This doesn't mean that every day should be a masterpiece of productivity. Rather, it's about not letting a day go unnoticed or unused, whether to advance our career, improve our health, or deepen our relationships. Additionally, showing up every day is deeply intertwined with the stoic practice of mindfulness, being present in the now and doing today's work without the burdens of yesterday's failures or tomorrow's worries. Marcus Aurelius wrote extensively about focusing on the present, about doing the task at hand to the best of your ability. This approach is what turns routine into ritual and effort into improvement to cultivate this discipline. Start small, decide what showing up means to you. It could be as simple as writing a single paragraph of that book you've been meaning to write. By doing a daily workout for five to 10 uninterrupted minutes, you demonstrate every day that you fulfill your commitment reinforce your willpower, and build the resilience that defines the Stoic philosophy. By adopting this daily practice, you embody the Stoic belief in responsibility and continuous self-improvement. You become a living testament to the idea that while we can't control outcomes, we can control our efforts. In the constant act of showing up, we find the discipline necessary to live a full and purposeful life. This Stoic practice strongly advocated by Marcus Aurelius is about much more than simply making life intentionally difficult. It is about preparing for life's unpredictabilities, strengthening resilience, and deepening appreciation for what one has. Marcus Aurelius believes that experiencing discomfort volunteering helps strengthen the mind against moments when life can impose discomfort on us. This seemingly simple concept can profoundly transform our approach to life's challenges, reducing anxiety, and fostering a deeper sense of peace and resilience. This could mean choosing to give up certain luxuries, enduring physical challenges, or simply practicing self-denial in small, everyday decisions. The logic is simple. If you are used to difficulties, sudden adversities will not throw you off balance. You are training your resilience muscles, so to speak, ensuring that you can face life's challenges with a calm and collected mind. But why accept the discomfort? In a world that constantly strives to offer us comfort, the answer lies in the very fabric of Stoic philosophy. Growth often occurs at the edges of comfort zones. By voluntarily entering less comfortable spaces, we not only test our mental and emotional limits, but we also expand them. This practice is not about punishing oneself, but rather about changing the perspective from seeing comfort as a necessity to seeing it as a luxury that we can do without if we choose to practice voluntary difficulties and cultivate gratitude. It's easy to take everyday comforts for granted, but when you occasionally live without them, you begin to appreciate them more deeply. This could be as simple as skipping a meal, which can increase your appreciation for food, or if you have to choose to walk instead of drive, which could deepen your gratitude for mobility and health. Furthermore, voluntary difficulties connect us with the reality that many people involuntarily live with every day. 
This connection can foster empathy, humility, and a deeper understanding of the human condition that anchors us more firmly in the reality of the world we share with others. So how can we integrate this practice into our lives? Start small, choose something manageable. Maybe get up an hour earlier than usual, limit your use of technology, or choose the stairs instead of the elevator. The key is not in the scale of the difficulties, but in the regularity and intention behind them. Every act of voluntary discomfort is a step toward greater mental strength and self-discipline. Distinguish between what is and what is not under our control. The Stoics remind us that we cannot control everything that happens around us. However, we do have the power to control our own actions, thoughts and reactions. Focusing on what is within your control frees you from anxiety and allows you to direct your energy toward what you can really change. This seemingly simple concept can profoundly transform our approach to life's challenges, reducing anxiety and fostering a deeper sense of peace and resilience. And what exactly is under our control? According to Stoicism, it is primarily our own actions, reactions and judgments, our thoughts, our will, our responses. These are the areas where we have control. Everything external, the actions of others or global events are outside our direct control. Marcus Aurelius constantly emphasized this point in his meditations, noting that getting angry or disturbed by things outside our control is not only unhelpful, but counterproductive to our well-being. Practicing the dichotomy of control begins with this understanding. While we can influence external events, we cannot completely control them. The Stoic learns to accept this fact, not passively, but as a liberating truth. By focusing on our own actions and letting go of our attachment to results, we can maintain our peace of mind and effectiveness regardless of the circumstances. This does not mean that we become indifferent or detached from the world, but that we engage with it more constructively, channeling our efforts where they can really make a difference. In daily life, applying the control dichotomy means asking ourselves if this is under my control before reacting to any situation. If not, the stoic practice is to let it go and move on. Easier said than done, of course it requires practice, mindfulness, and the occasional reminder of what really lies within our sphere of influence. Additionally, this practice has practical implications for how we set goals and expect results. While we strive to achieve our goals, linking our happiness or self-esteem to obtaining certain results, we can only encounter frustration due to countless external factors. Instead, Stoicism teaches us to find satisfaction in the search itself, in our adherence to our values and in the effort we make. Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers did not promise a life without challenges but rather offered a strategy for maintaining inner peace and dignity, regardless of life's ups and downs. By practicing this principle, we not only improve our own lives, but we can also influence those around us through our example of calmness and resilience in the face of life's inevitable uncertainties. This concept implies a deep understanding of personal responsibility and the stoic commitment to self-mastery. Rather than succumbing to a victim mentality, where one views oneself as a passive recipient of life's difficulties, Stoicism encourages us to take control over our perceptions and reactions. This empowerment is fundamental to the Stoic belief that our happiness and peace of mind are determined more by our internal state than by external events. The idea here is not to deny the difficulties or injustices one might face, but rather to shift the focus from what happens to us to how we respond. Marcus Aurelius believed that every external event comes with a choice. How will we let this define us? By refusing to play the victim, we reject the idea that our emotional well-being is at the mercy of external circumstances. This is a liberating understanding that opens the door to greater personal growth and resilience. When practicing this principle, we begin by observing our habitual responses to challenging situations we immediately look for external factors or others to blame. We spend our energy complaining about the situation instead of addressing it. Changing these patterns is not about suppressing our feelings, but about understanding them more deeply and redirecting our energies more constructively. It involves acknowledging our pains and disappointments and at the same time recognizing our ability to move forward despite them. Furthermore, 
this Stoic teaching encourages us to see every obstacle as an opportunity to practice virtue and strengthen our character. The perspective proposed is, in essence, proactive and empowering. Instead of succumbing to helplessness in the face of circumstances, it invites us to take control of our destiny. This philosophy transforms us from passive victims into active agents of our own path. At the core of this perspective lies the idea that, while we cannot control everything that happens around us, we can control our reactions and our actions. Instead of feeling helpless in the face of difficulties, we can choose to face them with courage, creativity and resilience. Every obstacle we face becomes a test of our commitment to our values and a platform to demonstrate our strength, perseverance and resilience, qualities that define the Stoic ideal. Let's not play the victim. This is embodying the Stoic ideal of emotional independence. We develop an inner strength of calm and equanimity from which we can relate to the world more fully and freely. This does not mean becoming emotionless or indifferent, but rather reaching a state where our happiness is not easily altered by the ups and downs of life. In this way, we live not at the whim of our circumstances, but in alignment with our deepest principles, regardless of what life throws at us. Marcus Aurelius defended this principle not only as a personal discipline, but as a path to greater freedom and satisfaction. In the Stoic sense, mastering one's impulses by delaying gratification is not about denying pleasure, but about achieving a higher form of fulfillment that is aligned with our values and long-term goals. Delaying gratification, in the Stoic sense, involves a strategic postponement of immediate desires for more meaningful and lasting rewards. It is about making decisions that may not offer instant satisfaction, but rather lead to lasting well-being and personal growth. This principle is particularly relevant in our modern instantaneous culture, where the ability to expect better is a rare and valuable skill. For Stoics like Marcus Aurelius, the practice of delayed gratification was also about maintaining mastery over one's desires. He believed that being enslaved to fleeting pleasures could lead to a loss of freedom, in the sense that one becomes a captive to one's whims and impulses. Instead, by exercising moderation and choosing our actions based on reason and foresight, we cultivate a life not just of temporary pleasures, but of lasting tranquility and contentment. Implementing delayed gratification into everyday life can start with simple habits. It can mean saving money instead of spending it impulsively, or choosing a healthy meal instead of fast food, or even spending time studying or practicing a skill instead of leisure activities. Each of these options reinforces the stoic practice of prioritizing long-term benefits over short-term ease or pleasure. Linking delayed gratification to better outcomes in professional education, health, and personal relationships is more beneficial. People who can delay immediate gratification are often better at managing stress, achieving their goals, and living healthier. This concept goes beyond simply not listening to negative comments. It's about cultivating mental resilience that allows you to remain firm in your convictions and focused on your goals even in the face of doubt and skepticism from others. For Stoics, the approval or disapproval of others is outside of our control and therefore not something to rely on for personal validation or guidance. Marcus Aurelius wrote extensively about focusing only on actions and opinions within one's control, emphasizing that true peace comes from within and cannot be shaken by external judgments. This stoic indifference is not about putting others down, but about maintaining our internal control. It encourages us to filter out the noise that does not serve our higher purposes or align with our values. In practical terms, ignoring naysayers is crucial in our modern world, where opinions abound and criticism is often just a click away. It involves recognizing that while constructive feedback can be valuable for growth, unfounded criticism should not deter us from our path. This distinction is vital. Stoicism teaches us to evaluate the source and intent of the criticism we receive. If it is informed, if it has good intentions, if it aligns with our core values. Furthermore, practicing this principle means building a personal philosophy strong enough to withstand external pressures. It's about having confidence in your decisions and actions, not out of arrogance, 
but out of a deep understanding of your own values and goals. This is what Marcus Aurelius practiced daily, not only as a ruler, but as a human being fighting for virtue in a complex world. The ability to ignore detractors also improves our emotional resilience, making us less reactive to negative opinions and more focused on our long-term vision. In a culture that often emphasizes the cycle of social validation, being able to break out of this cycle and remain true to yourself is both rare and powerful. By adopting the stoic practice of ignoring naysayers, we are not only protecting our mental space, but also actively choosing where to invest our emotional energy. It's about not letting external noise distract us from our internal dialogue, the one that really shapes our lives. This concept is rooted in the belief that much of our learning and personal development comes from observing and reflecting on the lives of those who have mastered the virtues we aspire to develop. Emulating the wise is not about copying them, but about learning from their example to improve our own character and judgment. Marcus Aurelius, despite being an emperor, often wrote about his admiration for the qualities of others, both past and present. He saw emulation of these figures as a way to internalize their strengths and virtues. For him and other Stoics, wisdom was not just theoretical knowledge, but practical knowledge. A guide to living well that could be better understood through the actions of those who have applied these principles effectively. In the context of Stoicism, choosing whom to emulate involves recognizing those who embody the Stoic virtues of wisdom and courage, justice and temperance. These could be historical figures, contemporary figures, or even characters from stories and literature who demonstrate qualities such as resilience, ethical integrity, and rational thinking. The key is to look for people whose lives provide a roadmap for facing challenges with grace and determination. Applying this principle involves careful selection of role models whose values align with our aspirations. It's about more than admiration, it's about critically observing how these individuals navigate their lives, make decisions, and handle adversity. This practice encourages us to wonder about this person's approach or mindset. What can I incorporate into my own life to improve my behavior and choices? Furthermore, emulating wise people helps overcome obstacles between abstract philosophical concepts and everyday actions. This provides a concrete example of how stoic principles can be lived. It makes these ideals more accessible and more compelling as we see the tangible impact of stoic virtues in the lives of those we respect. By seeking out and emulating wise people, we engage in a dynamic form of learning and self-improvement. It is a proactive approach to personal development that reinforces our commitment to growth and excellence. By surrounding ourselves with the influence of virtuous people, we set a high standard for our own behavior and decisions, pushing us to become wise people. The introspection. This practice is not simply about recounting events, but involves a deep and reflective examination of thoughts, actions, and responses throughout the day. It's about discerning whether these behaviors are aligned with our stoic values and virtues, such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. This introspective process is crucial because it serves as a feedback loop that helps one become more aware of their actions and decisions. For Stoics, the purpose of this daily review is not to dwell on mistakes or indulge in self-criticism, but to observe and adapt. It's about learning from everyday experiences and using that knowledge to continually refine yourself. Marcus Aurelius used this technique as a way to ensure that he was not only carrying out his duties as emperor, but that he was also growing as a philosopher and human being. Incorporating this practice into modern life can be incredibly beneficial. It encourages us to end each day with a moment of quiet reflection. During this time, you can ask yourself several key questions. How did I respond to today's challenges? Did I act according to my principles? What could I have done better? Were there moments when I lost control? Why does reflecting on these questions help you develop greater self-awareness and guide you to live a more deliberate and intentional life? This practice can foster a feeling of peace and fulfillment at the end of each day. It allows you to address any lingering thoughts or stresses by facing them head-on instead of carrying them into the next day. This can be especially powerful in our fast-paced world where it's easy to lose sight of our deepest goals amid daily distractions and pressures. By honestly reviewing your day, 
you engage in a form of personal responsibility that is gentle but rigorous. It's about recognizing your strengths and areas for improvement without judging. This stoic habit builds resilience and wisdom as it teaches you to be both student and teacher on your life's journey, constantly learning from your own experiences and striving to embody the virtues that define stoicism. Over time, this practice can transform not only the way you view your days, but also the way you live your life, aligning you each day more closely with the ideals you value. The Stoics recognize that life is an inexhaustible source of learning. Every experience, whether positive or negative, contains a valuable lesson that we can take advantage of for our personal growth. By adopting a student attitude, we open ourselves to the possibility of learning from our mistakes, our successes, and the situations around us. We carefully observe the consequences of our actions, reflect on our thoughts and emotions, and seek to identify patterns that allow us to improve in the future. If you are looking for a life full of meaning, a life where you can achieve your most ambitious goals and overcome any obstacle, it is time to start cultivating an unwavering purpose. It's time to wake up every morning with the certainty that your life has a deep meaning and that every step you take brings you closer to realizing your dreams. And thank you for joining me on this journey towards knowledge of Stoicism and the eternal wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Every day is a new step towards mastering yourself. Let's embrace together the virtues that define a life well lived. Let's continue walking the path of Stoicism to continue growing under the guidance of this eternal wisdom.